Hare Krishna devotees, welcome to Shloka Day. Today's Shloka is Shloka number 6 of chapter 10. Maharshaya Sapta Purve Maharshaya Sapta Purve Chattvaro Manavastatha Chattvaro Manavastatha Madbhava Manasajata Madhava manasa jata. Yesham loka imaf praja. Yesham loka imaf praja. Word for word meaning and translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Maharishayaha. Maharishayaha. The great sages. The great sages. Sapta. Sapta. Seven. Seven. Purve. Purve. Before. Before. Chatvaraha. Chatvaraha. Four. Four. Manavaha. Manavaha. Manus. Manus. Tatha. Tatha. Also. Also. Matbhavaha. Matbhavaha. Born of me. Born of me. Manasaha. Manasaha. From the mind. From the mind. Jataha. Jataha. Born. Born. Yesham. Yesham. Of them. Of them. Loke. Loke. In the world. In the world. Imaha. Imaha. All this. All this. Prajaha. Prajaha. Population. Population. Translation. The seven great sages. The seven great sages. And before them, the four other great sages. And before them, the four other great sages. And the Manus. And the Manus. Progenitors of mankind. Progenitors of mankind. Come from me. Come from me. Born from my mind. Born from my mind. And all the living beings. And all the living beings populating the various planets populating the various planets descend from them. Descend from them. So the Lord is talking about the genealogy of uh, all of us ultimately we originate from Him. So <clears throat> when we say we originate from Him and we are part and parcel of Him, this is the correct understanding of how we originate from Him and we are part and part of Him. So the Lord is the forefather of all forefathers. The Lord is giving a genealogical synopsis of the universal population. Brahma is the original creature born out of the energy of the Supreme Lord, who is known as Hiranyagarbha. Hiranyagarbha is Garbhodakshayushi. And from Brahma, all the seven great sages and before them, four other great sages named Sanaka, Sananda, Sanatana and Sanat Kumara and the 14 Manus are manifested. All these 25 great sages are known as the patriarchs of the living entities all over the universe. Not just in our tiny planet called Muloka. There are innumerable universes and innumerable planets within each universe, and each planet is full of population of different varieties. All of them are born of these 25 patriarchs. Brahma underwent penance for 1,000 years of the demigods before he realized by the grace of Krishna how to create. Then from Brahma came Sanaka, Sananda, Sanatana, and Sanat Kumara, then Rudra, and then the seven sages. And in this way, all the Brahmanas and Kshatriyas are born out of the energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <clears throat> Brahma is known as Pitamaha, the grandfather. And Krishna is known as Prapitamaha, the father of the grandfather. That is stated in the 11th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> Bhagavad Gita 11.3. So who are these 25 sages? So in yesterday's shloka, 20 qualities originate from Krishna. 25 sages, 
also come from Krishna eventually. So <clears throat> from Brahma come the Manasika Putras, the four great saints, Sanaka, Sananda, Sanatan, and Sanat. They are called the four Kumaras and they never get married. They are eternally Naishtika Brahmacharis. But great devotees of the Lord, <clears throat> Lord Vishnu. After the four Kumaras come the seven sages. Who are these sages? Marichi, Angira, Atri, Pulastya, Pulaha, Kratu and Vashishta. What is the role of these seven sages? They were empowered with the task of procreation of the human population. Their whole job was to populate all the planets with Jeevatmas. After them come the 14 Manus. Swayambhu, Swarochesha, Uttama, Tamasa, Raivata, Chakshusha, Vaivasvata, Savarni, Daksha Savarni, Brahma Savarni, Dharma Savarni, Rudraputra, Rochaya, and Bhautyaka. So, we are under the seventh Manu's rule right now. Vaivasvata Manu. Manu. They were empowered for the administration of humankind from the celestial abodes and for the establishment and protection of Vedic Dharma. So, what is the Manu's role? Oversight and administration of all of their population. In the celestial abodes, there are many devatas who are discharging the function of maintaining the universes. All these personalities are sons and grandsons of Brahma, who in turn was born from Lord Vishnu, who in turn is a non-different expansion of Sri Krishna. Therefore, we can say that Sri Krishna is the original forefather of all forefathers, Prapitamaha. So frequently, Everybody will say, oh, Krishna was born in the Yadu dynasty. Lord Ram was born in the Raghu dynasty. The Lord does not belong to any dynasty. Actually, all dynasties belong to the Supreme Lord. So essentially, the Lord is talking about how great he is, how all the great sages and all these progenitors actually originate from him. And that's how we understand the position of the Supreme Lord. This whole chapter is to understand that why is Bhagavan Krishna called Bhagavan Krishna? He's giving all of the explanations for us so that once and for all we are convinced that yes, okay, everything comes from Lord Krishna. So that's the essence of this shloka. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.